something like that. The guy's a real monster. Really? A monster? Sam, he stole a puppet. Not just any puppet. It's Mr. Smartums. Beloved icon of children's television. Yeah, well, which is why our client paid us so much money to get him back. And Mr. Smartums is very grateful. Yes, I'm very grateful, Eddie. Thank you for rescuing me from that very bad man. What are you doing? I'm gonna give Eddie a hug. No, stop. No, stop. Come on. Wait, why are you angry? Because that is not a toy. Okay, and for the record, puppets, they're creepy. Seriously, you don't like puppets? No, I don't like puppets. Why don't you like me? Okay. Why don't you like me, Eddie? Put it away. Why don't you like me? What are you doing? Me? Put it away. It's not a toy. They're creepy. I don't like that voice. Help! Oh. You're slowing down, Eddie. I knew I smelled cheap whiskey in here. You two know each other? Oh, come on. I know you miss me. Yeah, about as much as a toothache. But I heard you left town. Nah, I've just been lying low. I got a place up in the mountains near where we took down that kidnapper. Oh, you must be that actress who wants to be a P.I. Sam something? Cute puppet. Mm. Who are you? I'm Piper Mannix, bounty hunter extraordinaire. You're a bounty hunter? But you two used to work together? Not really. We were just on the same side. What Eddie means is that he was chasing bad guys for clients. Well, I tracked him down for a much more lucrative payday. You wouldn't be here unless you wanted something, so just spill it. Well, I owe you for that Fitzpatrick thing, so I thought I'd cut you in on this new job I'm working. No, cut me in, huh? You know, that's her way of saying she needs help. When you hear this case, you're going to want to help. An inmate escaped from a prison transport bin. Ron Conrad nearly killed a guard with his bare hands. I know about it. Yeah, but what you don't know is there's a half a million dollar reward on his head. Half a million? OK, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but you're the first bounty hunter I've ever met. I love the Janet Ivanovich books. Stephanie Plum is one of my favorite characters. Yeah, listen, Eddie, with my experience hunting fugitives and your cop connections, we really have a decent shot at catching this guy. She makes it hard to say. No. Not even for a quarter million dollars? Come on, has business gotten that good since you teamed up with Remington Steel that you don't need the money? I don't need the trouble. Wait, 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 Eddie, it's a quarter million dollars. That's a lot of money. Not enough to cover the trail of destruction she leaves. My methods work. No, really? Then what do you need me for? Besides, everybody in this city is going to be looking for this guy. Yeah, but I'm the only one with a lead. This guy almost killed a guard, a cop. The Eddie I know would track him down for free, and I know how to find him. What's your lead? Uh-uh, maybe you got to pay to play. <sighs> okay. If we do this, then you're going to play it by my rules. You don't go rogue, you don't withhold information, and you do not break the law. God, you're taking my balls here. Okay, well, I can play without him. What's the lead? I got a tip. Conrad spent last night at his foster mom's house. Except he moved around a lot when he was a kid, so I don't know exactly which foster mom it is. And you know I have a buddy in family services who can open up Conrad's foster records. Great, I'll take that as a yes. like you've been replaced. He's helping out. Shopping spree? Sam's latest wardrobe dump. I sell her outdated designer stuff online. She lets me bank 25% of the proceeds. Timing's perfect since I just upped my course load and seriously need the cash. Where are the shipping supplies? In the back. What's with the files? New case. We're putting together background on a Ryan Conrad. Victims, known associates, the works. The escape convict. He sounds like a real psychopath. There's a bounty on him. Cool. What's the bounty? Half a million. We're working with a bounty hunter, so if we find him, we get to keep half of the half. We meaning who? Sam and Eddie. But usually if there's a big payday, then I get a bonus. A bonus? I'm in. I can work up a criminal profile on this guy. Use my theories on recidivism and the psychology of sociopaths. Maybe you should run that by Sam. Where is she? She and Eddie got a tip that Conrad might be at his foster mom's. They're there now. That's her, Janice Wilkinson. Conrad was in foster care here longer than anywhere else. All right, you know the plan? Talk to Janice, see if she'll let us take a look inside. Or we can just bust in and grab Conrad ourselves. Honestly, her plan sounds more exciting. Why, you think that old bag's gonna let us inside? 
Conrad's in there. She's gonna guard that place like a pit bull. And if he's not, we go barging in. Foster mom calls the cops. Then we get thrown off the case and nobody gets the money or the guy. Okay, fine. We'll do it the boring, stupid way. But while you guys talk to mom, I'll surveil behind the house. Conrad's there and he bolts. He'll go out the back and I can get the drop on him. She's awesome. Can you keep her? No. You ready to do some acting? See, Cameron, I told you it's perfect. It's so raw and real. Yes, isn't it? Beautiful. How are you? Hi. Uh, Darlene and Cameron Kemp of Starlight Street Productions. You're Janice Wilkinson, right? Uh-huh. We're just scouting for a location to shoot this new movie we're producing, which is what brought us to your charming home. Have you ever considered renting it out for production? Oh, the day rate's $2,000. And we will cover your hotel stay during the filming, so you don't have to worry about that. Just any way we can just look inside and make sure it's exactly what we're looking for? I don't let strangers in my house. Oh, but your house screams authenticity. We just have to go inside to take a few pics so the director can approve it. You know it. what? I know who you are. He ain't here. Now get off my property before I call the cops. Don't know what you're talking about, but have a nice day. Told you, Betty wouldn't let you in. Well, we'll set up surveillance on the house in case Conrad's inside. He's not. How do you know? Because while you two were screwing around, I broke inside. You did what? Well, somebody had to get the party started. What, what if Conrad had been in there? Then we'd be $500,000 richer. Spoiler alert, we're not. But he was there. I found his bloody prison jumper, a pizza box, two paper plates, and these. Beer bottles? Conrad stayed the night. Paper plates indicate he wasn't alone. If he had a buddy over, and that guy's fingerprints are all over one of these. Yeah, and whoever he was hanging out with might know where he is right now. Not bad. For all we know, Janice could have been drinking with one of her friends last night. Yup, check the fridge. Biddy drinks a different brand. Look, V, just because you hate my methods doesn't mean I'm wrong. Got you there. I'll get my guys to run the prints in the bottle, see if anything pops. Meanwhile, let's see what your boy found out about Conrad. Ryan Conrad. He's been in and out of prison since high school, violent assaults, domestic abuse. He's even been suspected of a couple murders, but the cops can never pin anything on him. Oh, so what's he in for this time? Aggravated assault. They accused a guy of stealing his beer and then cracked open his skull with a tire iron. He still had five months left on his sentence. Five months? So why break out now? He was being transferred from state prison to LA County because of overcrowding. Must have seen an opportunity to escape and took it. Reactive personality, sociopathic tendencies. Conrad's like a volcano, ready to explode at any minute. I don't buy it. He didn't just escape. He almost killed that guard to do it. He traded five months for 25 to life. If he's willing to take that risk, it's for a reason. You figure that out, you'll know where he's going. If that's the case, he'll likely reach out to known associates for help. Only the people he trusts the most. Like an old cellmate? I just got a match on the prints. It belonged to Jimmy Tobin, the most notorious gun runner in L.A. Well, if his prints were on the bottle, then he must have been with Conrad last night. He must know where Conrad's hiding. Yeah, what his next move is. Where can we find this Tobin? There's no last known address for him in the system. I can put the word out on the street, make some inquiries with friends. We'll do the same. In the meantime, I'll tap my source at the LAPD. We'll get a copy of Conrad's prison call logs. If we can see who he's talking to, maybe we can get a clue as to what he's planning. Oh, wow, you're still tapping that source? Say hi for me. Piper Mannix. Chris. The same Piper Mannix who stole my badge and used my identity to get information on a bail jumper she was tracking. Chris. You're working with her? She has a lead. She has a problem. She doesn't just break rules. She douses them in gasoline and sets them on fire. Look, I don't trust her any more than you do. But if it means getting Ryan Conrad back behind bars, it's worth it. Okay, here's Conrad's call logs. Let me know if you find anything. You'll be my first call. Thank you. Thanks, Angel. Call me if you hear anything. Any word on Tobin? Nothing yet. Conrad must get to you. I play with my earrings when I get anxious. He's no different than any of the scum I chase. You like getting in people's heads, don't you? Actress. Occupational hazard. I'm curious, though. How did you end up chasing scum for a living? You know, becoming a badass. Oh, you want to know my backstory? Um, like somebody I cared about was killed by a bad guy, and so now I do this in a desperate attempt to assuage my guilt? No. Do you want to know why I do it? The rush. The feeling that comes with taking someone down and cuffing them. It's like a drug. It's better than sex. <laughs> One of my sources just spotted Tobin. Where? His old hangout, the pistol room. 
pistol room. Isn't that that biker bar that was on the news? They found a decapitated head in the bathroom? Yeah, that's the place. Well, we should call Eddie. Oh, it's a bad idea. As much as I like him, your partner still reeks of cop. He walks in, that whole place is gonna clam up. But a woman walks in? Uh, women. We're partners in this. I'm going. You, Sam! These are hardened bikers. You're the girl next door. They're gonna eat you alive. Want to bet? What? You look like Olivia Newton-John at the end of Greece. Ah, swans, dolphins. You sure you're ready for this? Oh, yeah. I went to biker bars all the time on my show. Okay, Sandy, just remember they can smell fear. <laughs> I, I love that. You'll, you'll sign it, right? Yeah, of course I'll sign it. Anybody got a pen? <laughs> you and me, <laughs> we're going to have some fun. Oh, yay. Jimmy Tobin. What? Where? At the pistol room. The pistol room? That bar's all felons all the time. Relax, Sam totally held her own. Oh yeah, of course this was your idea. Well, we started there, but then we rolled with Jimmy's crew to this underground shooting range. What? Yeah, and then he let me ride his motorcycle for a few laps. It was so cool. You rode Jimmy's motorcycle? Remember when Big Lou popped that wheelie on the PCH? Dude, that was epic. Are you guys insane? You guys are lucky you didn't get two bullets to your head. Jimmy seemed scary at first, but once you know him, he's like just a really big teddy bear. A teddy bear with violent priors. You're lucky we hung out for as long as we did, because that's when Jimmy finally told us. He gave Conrad a beater car and a gun because he's going after his ex-girlfriend. Hold on a second. You're saying Jimmy told you about Conrad? Yes, but Jimmy doesn't know who the girl is, so we need to find her. Could be Chino Martin. Who? Well, according to his prison log, she was the only woman that Conrad called besides his foster mom. Wrote her letters, too. I ran her phone. Everything was disconnected. If you wrote her letters, then we have her address. Nope, she moved. No forwarding address. Well, I can check with my sources, see if anybody knows where she lives. Yeah, yeah, you go do that. Because you're on your own now. Eddie. What? No, we had an agreement, right? But you ignored it. She put you in danger. Her recklessness is going to get somebody killed. Fine, play it safe. It's what you do best. Yeah. I can catch Conrad a hell of a lot faster without you slowing me down. I got all I needed from you anyway. Good. Get out of here. Well, if what Tobin said is true, then we need to find Gina before Conrad does. Gina Martin? Eddie Valetic, Sam Swift. We're uh, private investigators. How'd you find me? I know you deleted your social media accounts, but your, your friends didn't. You're still linked to Burton and Morris accounting on some of their pages. Uh, Miss Martin, we have reason to believe... That Ryan Conrad's coming after me? Why the hell do you think I'm getting out of here? <laughs> Miss Martin, if you just give us one second. I don't understand, okay? He found out. He knows. He's gonna kill me. He knows what? This. You're pregnant? He's the father? No. 
But he's crazy. He, he's obsessed with me. Somehow he found out I was pregnant, and he said he'd make me pay. I thought I'd have more time. Do you have somewhere safe to go? What about the baby's father? Alex? Alex isn't in the picture anymore. After Ryan, I was done with bad guys, so I went boring. I dated this guy from work, and it turns out he had problems of his own. But I have a friend that Ryan doesn't know about, and I'm staying with her until someone puts him back behind bars. Well, Gina, if he is after you, we could use that to catch him. We could set up surveillance at your house in case he shows up. We just need your address. 738 Elm Street in North Hollywood. Whatever you do, do not go back there. Wait, here's my cell number. Just call me anytime. Let me know when you're safe. Gina, do you know anywhere else he might go or someone else he might turn to? Other than his foster mom and Jimmy Tobin. Um, when he needed a place, he'd crash at a motel. What motel? The Crossroads Inn. Thanks. Cutting out early? Eddie asked me to run surveillance on Gina Martin's house, let him know if Conrad shows up. I'll roll with. You could use a pair of eagle eyes like mine. Okay, sure. Do you know what they say? That two eyes are better than whatever. And anyway, yeah. I'll get supplies. It's classy. It's a long shot, but let's check with reception, see if anyone's seen Conrad lately. We never really talked about the Piper thing. What's there to talk about? She left you alone in a bar full of armed criminals. I could have left any time, but I didn't. I stayed and worked Jimmy Tobin. I made that decision, not Piper. Because you didn't know any better. She did. <laughs> I knew pairing up with her was going to be a bad idea. Why? Because she doesn't play by your rules. It's not about my rules. It's about her moral code. She does not have one. That's how people end up getting hurt. <sighs> Look, if Piper and I didn't go to that bar, we wouldn't have this lead. We might not have made it to Gina in time. Oh, yeah, and you can catch a lot of fish by throwing dynamite in the water. Doesn't make it any less stupid. Hello? Hey, Gina. Is everything okay? You at your friend's house? Okay, that's great. Well, don't... Yeah, no, I'll let you know. Don't tell anyone else where you are. Of course. Just take care of yourself. Okay, bye. So is this what you wanted to be when you grew up? What? I was trying to picture you as a kid. It's an exercise we do in one of my classes. Well, living where I did, I wasn't so sure that I would grow up. Most of my friends didn't. That's why I like PI work. Makes me feel like one of the good guys. What about you? Did you always dream of being a shrink? Well, I don't really get people, so I thought I'd take classes. My parents had the dreams. To them, I'm a major disappointment. Well, that's one upside to not having parents. <clears throat> Something's bothering you. Yeah, like, how did a guy like Conrad get transferred from prison? You said it was overcrowding. Sure, but it's hard to get transferred to L.A. County Jail, unless it's for a court date. But according to the Department of Corrections, transfers are reserved for nonviolent offenders. Which definitely isn't Conrad. So how did he get sent to L.A. County? What? 
it's Gina Martin. Hey, where'd you go? What's wrong? I, I saw Conrad. What? Where? I followed him around the corner, and he grabbed me and he shoved me up against the wall. You followed him? I tried to call you. Are you okay? Yeah. How'd you get away? I pretended to be a tourist, and he let go and he took off. But Eddie, I saw that he had the number 738 written on his hand. It's Jim Martin's address, 738 Elm Street. We found out where she lived. Hey, what do you got, Berto? Did you tell Gina that it was safe to come home because I'm pretty sure she just walked in the front door? No. We're on our way. If you see Conrad, call 911. That doesn't make sense. She said that she went to her friends, but why would she go home? Maybe she lied to us. Maybe she's helping him. No sign of Conrad? Nada. Gina's still in the house. What's the plan? Get Gina and then call the police. Do you want us to cover you? With what? See, this is why you need a gun. Get back to the office. Stay by the phone. Why don't we just knock? Well, Conrad had a head start. He could have snuck in the back and come inside already. Conrad. What are you doing in that Gina getup? Dressed up like Gina so you can sneak in and not alert the neighbors. What, then what? You were going to take down Conrad by yourself? Yeah, that was the plan. Do you guys parked your car out front and completely blew my cover. Why don't you guys just get back in your car and... Betty! <laughs> I didn't know the blender had that setting. Yeah, well, sometimes I like to mix it up. Detective Rollins. Hey, Chris. We're just back, Conrad. Are you serious? How? I'll fill you in when I see you. Meet us down at LA County Jail in 20 minutes. I'll take him from here. What are you doing? Oh, you said yourself. I'm on my own. And since we're not working together anymore... Come on, Piper. You're not actually gonna shoot us. You sure? After all, I am a loose cannon. One, two, three! Go. Oh! Okay, wait, hold my hands! Come on, swing your legs around! Try! Swing try, around! Try! Swing! Oh! Okay. Oh! Uh, okay. Wait, let me... Oh, gold oh, hands! Oh, sorry, sorry. Gold hands. Okay, wait. All right, push against me. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. Come on. Okay. You must have done this in your show. How'd you get out? Hardly. We never did. I can't believe I fell for Piper's whole cool bounty hunter shtick. Well, you know, in your defense, you were holding a puppet at the time. Yeah, but I get why I thought we had such a strong connection. Why is that? Because she reminded me of myself. I don't see the resemblance. Well, you didn't know drunk and disorderly, Sam. But hanging out with Piper, it's like I got caught up in the moment. I didn't think about the consequences. I didn't think about myself or anyone. That's how I was then. That's how I would be if I hadn't gotten help. Well, the only side of you that I've ever seen is the one that cares about other people. It's what makes you a better PI than a bounty hunter. Oh, you think I'm a good PI? It's not exactly what I said. Oh, it is what you said. Okay, no, seriously, Eddie, my arms are starting to go numb. Yeah, okay, look, if I just had something to wedge in there, I could trick the latch. Don't you have your lockpick in your pocket? Yeah, but I can't reach it. Oh, well, maybe I can. Here, this is my left pocket. Okay, go. <laughs> Hold on. There you go. Can you feel it? Okay, okay, okay. I don't like this too much. Wait, I almost got it. You got it? Almost. You feel it? Yeah, I got it! I got it! Nice. 
me. <laughs> Don't drop it. No. Just, there you go. Okay, right in my hand. Your... Right in my hand. You got it? There you go. Perfect. <sighs> oh, my God. I got 20 missed calls from Christine. She's probably wondering why Piper brought in Conrad instead of us. Hey, Chris. Where the hell have you been? Sorry, we got tied up. But you have Conrad. Didn't Piper bring him in? No. Piper has Conrad? Yeah, she left over an hour ago. Eddie, what the hell's going on? I don't know. Let me call you back. But why didn't Piper turn Conrad in? Maybe she's working another angle? Or Conrad overpowered her. Piper could be in danger. I tried tracking Piper's phone. Couldn't get a signal on it. It's like someone turned it off. All right, pull all her financial records. I want traces on her credit cards, her ATMs. On it, uh, but Eddie, there's something else. Something about Conrad's transfer was still bugging me. So Berto and I dug a little deeper. Turns out the transfer was requested by a group called Lawmen for Justice. Lawmen for Justice? Yeah, I know that group. That's Judge Chambers' political action committee. Judge Chambers, as in Deacon? The mob boss we put away? Yeah. Check this out. The warden that they petitioned? He's connected to Deacon. He served as Chambers' campaign chairman. Well, why would Deacon set up Conrad to get transferred? Whatever's going on, we only know half the story. Deacon? Eddie Valetic. It's nice to see you again. To what do I owe the pleasure? I thought we'd have a little chat. About Ryan Conrad? Dangerous man. I hear he escaped a prison transport van and is currently running rampant through the city. Because you wanted him transferred here? Why? You overestimate my influence. Where is he? Was him escaping part of the plan? Mr. Valetic, you and I are on the same side here. Ryan Conrad is a menace and a danger to society. As a judge, I'd love nothing more than to see him back in jail where he belongs. Don't tell me where he is. I'll make that happen for you. How could I possibly know? Okay. You want to play your games, that's fine. But if anything happens to Piper Mannix, I'm coming for you. What about Piper Mannix? Conrad has her. Oh, you didn't know. That wasn't part of the plan. Guard. Time to go. What is it? What aren't you telling me? November 2nd, 2014. Look into it. November 2nd, 2014. Ukrainian separatists held an election. It was National Devil Egg Day. Wait, 11 to 2014. Conrad had a meeting with his parole officer that day. What about Piper? Credit card statements say that she was on a bender in Vegas. Multiple bar tabs, huge payouts. Well, maybe the date doesn't mean anything. Maybe Deacon's making us chase our tails. A new charge just appeared on Piper's credit card. Gas purchase at a station off the 210 freeway east. Where the hell is he taking her? Wait. I got it. November 2nd, 2014. Sierra Parker. Date of death, November 2nd, 2014. Conrad was a person of interest in her murder, but there was never enough evidence to charge him. Why would Deacon point us to her? Sierra was found strangled with signs of assault. God. What? Around Sierra's neck. That's the same pendant necklace that I saw Piper wearing. So they knew each other? They were friends? Or more. Piper didn't want to catch Conrad for the reward money. It's personal. She wants revenge. Conrad killed the woman Piper loved. When Piper's not the one in danger, it's Conrad. Monica, where was Sierra's body found? Near Cedar Springs and Angeles Crest Forest. That's off the 210 East. Roberto, call ahead to L.A. County Sheriff's. Let them know where Sarah's body was found and that Piper and Ryan Conrad could show up there any minute. Let's go. Knowing who killed the person you care about and then knowing they'll never pay? I totally understand why Piper's so self-destructive. Honestly, I don't blame her for wanting to kill Conrad. It doesn't mean she should. I've been where Piper is. I, I even came this close to crossing the line once. But at that moment, I knew you can't sacrifice justice in the cause of justice. And our job is to catch the criminals, not to determine their fate. Everything else is just vengeance. What's the word from LA County Sheriff's? Dispatcher said she'd message me as soon as they got news. But in the meantime, I was looking at Piper's bank statements and I found something weird. She just got a payment for 50 grand. 
What's weird about that? It got wired to her account an hour before she first showed up here. Who sent her the money? Same organization offering the $500,000 reward for Conrad. Lawmen for justice. So Deacon orchestrated Conrad's transfer. Then he offered a reward and paid a bounty hunter to catch him after he escaped? Wait, how does that make sense? It doesn't. I mean, why does Deacon want Conrad so badly? Eddie. Dispatch says that L.A. sheriffs are on scene where Sierra's body was found. Piper and Conrad aren't there. Wait, what? No, they have to be. They search the area, nothing. Keep us posted, OK? <sighs> well, maybe we read this wrong. No, 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 we didn't. We couldn't have. What Piper's doing is all about Sierra. She was headed in this direction. Well, maybe there's another spot up here that had meaning to Sierra or Piper. Wait, Piper said she had property in the mountains nearby where you caught a kidnapper. Where was that? It's about 15 miles away. You like it out here? It's nice and remote. So no one will ever find your body. Keep digging. I want you to feel every ounce of fear that Sierra felt when she realized she was going to die. From the second you took her from that bar until you dumped her body in these woods. Piper. Uh, hi. What are you doing here? Where's Eddie? Looking for you. Piper, please put down the gun. He's not worth it. He deserves to die for what he did. Maybe. But that's not your decision to make. If you do this, you're just like him. No, I'm not like him. He killed her for no reason and walked free. Do you have any idea what that's like to live with? Knowing what he did to her and that I couldn't save her? The least I can do is make him pay. I said keep digging. Piper, please, think about Sierra. Is this what she'd want? For you to rot in prison because of this piece of trash? Because of her? You don't know what Sierra would have wanted. You didn't know her. No! Get off me! Get off me! Please just let me do this! Please just let me do this! Poetic justice. I get it. Now let me go. Well, we can't have you getting in the way of us getting Conrad back to jail. You realize he's going to kill again, right? Do you really want that on your conscience? Why don't we talk about your conscience? Why don't you tell us about that 50K payment you got from Lawman for Justice? I got a call. They wanted me to track down Conrad. And I figured since I was going after him anyway, and my plans didn't include turning him in, why not make an extra 50K on top? Well, why'd you come to me? Because the 50K came with one condition. I had to get Eddie Valetic on board. Don't ask me why. We'll send the Rangers to cut you loose. Eventually. Why would Deacon do this? Or why would he want you searching for Conrad? I don't know. Got the ride back to LA to see if Conrad has any answers. What are you doing in there? Next stop, LA County Jail. You'll like it. I will. How strong is duct tape exactly? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this is police brutality. Well, it would be if we were police. I'm suffocating. Cut me loose, man. Maybe I will. But first, you need to tell us about Deacon. Deacon? Yeah. Who's Deacon? The guy who pulled strings to send you to county. Is he your boss? I don't work for nobody, and nobody pulls my strings. Only reason I escaped was to find that whore. Snap her neck for two-timing me. If I found the boyfriend that knocked her up, I would have killed him too. Hey, baby, I got something for you. Right here. Why don't you shut your mouth? I give you everything you need. Much better. Don't say I never got you anything. And so beautifully wrapped. I'll be careful he bites. Yeah, we'll get him a muzzle. Hey, let me ask you a question. Any new developments in the Deacon case? No. Goes to trial next month. Those ledgers you found detailing all of Deacon's illicit deals, DA has a witness that ties Chambers to all of it. Well, that's good news, right? Yeah. Should be. What's wrong? I don't know. Any way to uh, get a copy of those updated files? <sighs> Who 
Remind me what we're looking for again. It's just something that makes all this make sense. Why did Deacon want Ryan Conrad transferred from one prison to another? Why did he offer a reward when Conrad escaped? Why did he help us with Piper when she took off with him? It's like he wanted to make sure that Conrad stayed alive so he can make it to that prison. Why? You know, it's been a long couple of days. Maybe we should just walk away and then come back and look at it with fresh... Huh. What? Burton and Morris. Where have I heard that name before? It's the, uh, the accounting firm where Ryan's ex works. Why is that in Deacon's file? The prosecution's key witness is an accountant who worked there. He cooked all of Deacon's books. He's flipping against Deacon in exchange for a reduced prison sentence. Alex Bishop. Alex. Isn't that Gina's baby daddy's name? The one that Conrad was hellbent on killing? He's the key witness against Deacon? In exchange for a reduced prison sentence. He's, he's in prison. The same prison we just took Conrad to. This isn't a prison transfer. He's using Conrad to take out Alex. Eddie? Hey, Chris, the witness testifying against Deacon, Alex Bishop, is he still at L.A. County Jail? Yeah, why? What's going on? You need to get him out of there now. Conrad's going to kill him. We were too late. By the time the guards got there, Conrad had already snapped Alex's neck. So what happens with Deacon's case now? DA will try and regroup, find another witness that ties those ledgers back to him, but... Bishop's dead. He's gonna walk. Eddie, we have to stop meeting like this. Then you need to stop killing people. Now, see, you got it all wrong. Ryan Conrad killed Alex Bishop in front of dozens of witnesses. Crime of passion, from what I hear. And you had him sent here. Ryan Conrad was your guided missile to take out the star witness against you, and he didn't even know it. But the one thing you didn't count on was Conrad escaping. So you had Piper find him, and you tipped me off to make sure that he stayed alive. It's quite a story. Imagine if it were true. Just imagine the kind of things I'd be capable of. Good thing it's just a story, huh? And no matter how hard you look, you'll find that none of this has anything to do with me. You know the one thing I don't understand? The payment to Piper. Why bring me in? Why take that risk? I remember one of the first cases I tried as a judge. This drug dealer kidnapped his rival's sister, dragged her out to the desert. Well, the rival begged the man to let his sister go and take him instead. So the dealer agreed, took the rival out to see his sister. But instead of letting her go, he shot her point blank. When the rival asked why he had gone back on his word, you know what the dealer said? Because I wanted you to watch. You did this to punish me. All men deserve to pay for their sins, Eddie. You know, if you really think about it, I didn't kill Alex Bishop. You did. See you soon. Please tell me you were here to hand over my cut of the reward money. I've got something better. Eddie talked to one of his buddies in the LAPD. He got him to reopen Sierra's murder case. What difference does it make? Conrad's already going away for life for killing Alex Bishop. The difference is between justice and vengeance. You can't drown out the pain. Trust me, I have tried. You know, I thought we were kindred spirits. Turns out you're just like Eddie. 
lucky I am. So no bonus. Well, you won't take dirty money. I wouldn't feel right about it either. Guess it's back to stars worn with Sam's old clothes. And you can take the leathers along with the club clothes. After visiting the pistol room, I can put that walk on the wild side far behind me. Where's Eddie? Today, the district attorney's office lost a key witness in their case against Judge Noah Chambers. While police have yet to issue a statement, insiders tell us without this key witness, Judge Chambers may walk away a free man. Hey. Hey. I am armed with trans fats and old westerns. And do you have a way to rewind time, too? Come on, Eddie. Don't beat yourself up like this. Well, if I hadn't stopped Piper from killing Conrad, I'd Archbishop would still be alive. If we could go back in time, would you do anything differently? Of course you wouldn't. You would stop Piper from killing Conrad every time. Because it's the right thing to do. Alex Bishop didn't die because of you. He died because of Deacon. He played me, Sam. Us. He played us. No, but it's not over. Next time, we'll play him. Next time, we will put him away for good. Yeah. Yeah, we will. What are these? Uh, so, I, I brought a bounty hunter movie because I thought you would really want to watch that. No. 